Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now, after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. Mother! Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? Clearly not the good sort of surprise. My lovely Morrigan has a flair for the dramatic. Thankfully, my grandson is more sensible. Kirin is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. That's quite enough. You'll endanger the boy. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. <gasps> you... are Mithal. Well... That was unexpected. You, of all people, should expect the unexpected by now. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman. Crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me. No more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald, indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mithal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged. Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I presume you know what we're up against. 
Better than you could possibly imagine. So will you help us? Once I have what I came for. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him! Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Mother, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. Was the well. Always grasping beyond your reach, despite all that I taught you. Whatever else you think he is, Kieran is still a child. And so much better behaved than his mother was at his age. Kieran, I. <laughs> 